the Bachman on your screens making a strong case uh, Christian this time for World Import MVP 29 points and 14 rebounds a game number one in scoring and number two in rebounding and you guys are seeing right now the starting unit for San Miguel Ala Filipinas and the Singapore Slingers po uh, both teams posting very tall lineups here on the floor I think it's gonna be an interesting matchup between John Fields and Ramos right. particularly because Ramos as a big guy, he's mm. a seven-footer, but if you look at the first three games, Martin, he, he likes to spot up outside the paint. That's right. Uh, Ronaldo Bachman doing the damage underneath, but at the same time, Fields, on the other hand, he likes to post up, you know, likes to get his teammates involved and loves that right hook with the left shoulder. But this is six foot nine John Fields versus seven foot three. Right. PJ Ramos at the painted area. Ball is up here. And San Miguel Ala Pilipinas will have first possession again, going for their fourth straight win to begin the season. And right away, that's a short hook coming from PJ Ramos. A good play to start the game, getting Ramos his two feet inside the paint for a baby hook for an easy two. Good first two points at the painted area for San Miguel Ala Pilipinas. Singapore now on the attack. John Fields, no good on the mid range. Ronaldo Balkman ripping it out. Here is Ethan Alvano, the 22-year-old to Kaelan Chung Son, going to the other side, and he gets the first personal on the X-Man, Xavier Alexander. Their first two back baskets, again, two feet inside the paint. You look at the first three games, Martin, a total mm. of 268 points, and more than half, 140 of it, inside the paint. That's, wow. that's 60% of their points coming inside. So, if you're if you're the Singapore Slingers, you want to play your defense and mm. be gap-minded. What that means is you want to give up the jump shot instead of, you know, the score inside. And Singapore actually shifted their game from being a slow and deliberate team to a more transition right. uh, type of team going into season number nine with Xavier Alexander, at of the course, point. at the point guard position. That's right. Jeron Young. Going to add Alexander on the other side against Kaelan Chongso now. Alexander leaving it off to Delvin Go. No good on the shot. Delvin oh, hustling for that offensive rebound. They got a fresh 14 here. Xavier on top. He goes to Delvin Go. Picked away by Alvano. Ethan on the move. They go to Kaelan. Swings it to Parks for three. That is short. Young with the board struggled in their last game was about 0 for 3 did not make anything from the mm. outside and his first attempt coming from the arc yeah Jeron Young of course exited the game very early in that game against Hong Kong as Alexander misses from downtown 0 for 3 now from the field are the slingers Alvano bounce pass that is broken up by Jeron Young with well, that rebound by Ramos he's like cherry picking <laughs> You gotta love the short shirts also of uh, I know PJ Ramos. trying to be millennial. Yeah, <laughs> complimenting that seven foot three frame as you can see on your screens. Coach Neil Bang Shang, longtime head coach of the Slingers. A good thing he has those compression shorts. Yeah, <laughs> well, you gotta have that though. Young he with the board. He, he should. <laughs> Here comes Jaron Young. He is on the move. Oh, out of control there. Loses possession. Alvano. Could not get to the outlet pass from PJ Ramos. So turnover for turnover for both teams. Two minutes gone in this one. Only Ala Pilipinas on the board here. Three to nothing. Singapore Slingers still looking for answers on offense. Uh, Ang Han Bin who scored that big three-pointer in that game against Hong Kong to send that game to overtime. X-Man against Jung Son. Going to the corner. Han Bin for three. Knocks it down. And you see the adjustment by Alexander at the point. Not really looking for his shot right there as he was scanning the floor on the drive. Right. Saw the one on his left for that corner three. He's one of the leading assist men in the league at about 8.7 assists per game. Alvano finishing with his nice. strong hand. Here comes the Slingers. We told you they like to play fast. Delvin Go converting plus the foul. And that to me is going to be the key for Singapore. First is pounding 
the boards, which they did in their last game mm -hmm. when they lost to Hong Kong 65-50. to And that one right there, playing ahead of the defense. Yeah. You don't want Ramos inside the paint. This was the layup by Albano. And right there, and you see Ramos about five feet behind, absolutely nowhere to contest that shot. Right. It gives you a better chance as a team to score and get easier buckets when Ramos is playing behind. That's right. Delvin go converting. Could not uh, complete the three-point play, though. And Delvin, top contributor in scoring for the Slingers from the local cast. No good from Parks there. Young with a strong rebound. Sharon on the move. He stops, steps back, goes inside to Fields. Short stop is good. John Fields on the board now. Slingers have the lead, 7-5. to five. Hit one from the outside was Singapore. That time, Fields was able to get to his sweet spot, mm -hmm. even though with a tough angle without the board, no problem. So San Miguel Ala, Filipinas. Oh, they go to PJ Ramos underneath. That's automatic for the big man. Now talk about problems, that's one thing Ramos will give against this team. Absolutely nobody yeah. there to match up against him at seven feet. And Go could not counter on the other end. So here comes Alap again, on the move, Alvano. Good pass. Swing it to Chong Son. Kalen to Ramos, steps into a free from straightaway. That rattled in and out. Almost went in for PJ though. John Fields, bravely attacking Ramos. Fields turns around, no good. And Ronaldo is on the move, Ronaldo. Good foul. Getting fouled there by Delvin Go. And it's now go to Sydney Crespo. For your first report, Sydney. Jordan Christian for uh, Singapore Slingers head coach Neo Beng Shang. There's no advantage being able to play more games so far compared to Alab Filipinas. He mentions that same as Alab, they only got one day of rest and they have been traveling here and there, which can be really exhausting. But amidst those, he says that they are still going to focus on what they are supposed to do, and that is to bounce back tonight. Coach Neo even shared to me a fun fact that this is their first time to play here in Kaloha Sports Complex. And he stoked about the Filipino crowd, the emotions, which he described to be really good. We can expect the Singapore Slingers to show teamwork and discipline as Coach Neo emphasized, we're just going to stick with the team's rules. Um, let's talk about Ala Filipinas later, but for the meantime, back to you, gentlemen. Thank you, Sydney. Well, that's the system of Coach Neo Banks on uns unselfish basketball. And they actually have the advantage this year. Usually their primary leading scorer, Xavier Alexander, at least for the past two years, has now shifted to the point guard position. And we go the other way here with Singapore. Having a possession here. Technical foul called. Bogman, I believe. On Ronaldo Bogman here. He disagreed with the call right there. The call against him as. That's a big call, Christian, because that's the second personal right. already. Early in this ball game. And I was about to say, because Ronaldo Bogman in their last game. Uh, Played pretty much the whole game at 38 yeah. minutes and a big reason why because he played without fouling, only had three fouls for the game, has two quick ones mm -hmm. in less than five minutes into the game. Wow, that's a big development for San Miguel Ala Pilipinas, but he will remain on the floor. So this is a big gamble here for uh, Coach Jimmy Alapag. So Slingers on the attack again, tying this one 10 apiece, Ang Han Bin. They go to Xavier Alexander. Oh, the X to Young on the post as he has a smaller Bobby Ray on him. Alexander attacking Chong Sun stops, gets it to Fields. Fields short stab is good. Big guy showing the nice touch with the one dribble underneath. That time in the middle, nothing but net. John Fields coming off that 25 point game against Hong Kong. They go inside, Albano doesn't convert. Parkman with a tip. Ronaldo Bogman, instant impact here on the floor for San Miguel Ala Pilipinas. Alexander working with a basketball, now he attacks and scores right away. That's a smart play to try to test and force Bachman to pick up the third foul. You see Bachman just has his hands up, smart play by Bachman also not to foul and to let it go. That's right, five points now for Xavier Alexander, Ramos getting double teamed, Kalen. Hit a three-pointer earlier. Walk. Oh, that's a traveling infraction on Kaelan Chong Son. And first guy off the bench here for San Miguel Ala Pilipinas, Lawrence Domingo. 
replacing Kaylan Chong. So and we got a timeout on the floor here. We'll be right back for more action here in the ABL9 on SNA. Back to the action here in the ASEAN Basketball League inside Kalaokan Sports Complex. And we were talking about Xavier Alexander earlier, already with five points in the game. Usually the leading playmaker of this uh, Singapore Slingers team. But because Jaren Young was in foul trouble pretty much the entire game, he had to uh, pick up the scoring. He scored 25 points, nine rebounds, six dimes, and three takeaways in that game. And was forced to take a lot of shots also. Those 25 points came of 25 attempts, 9 for 25 for 36 percent. Got to the line 10 times. Mm -hmm. Him along with Fields combined got to the line 23 times. It was really a game of free throws. That's right. Their last game, I think it was a combined 86 free throws for both teams, and both teams really just you know missing their free throws. That's right. why it went into double overtime until Ferguson in the last, uh, in the second mm -hmm. overtime rather, was four for four which pretty much dictated the outcome of the game Singers. for Hong Kong. Singers also lost five players there with five uh, players actually yeah, fouling right. out yeah. in that one. Fields. A oh, good challenge by Bob. Still relentless here. That's good defensive uh, sequence for San Miguel Ala Pilipinas. But a fresh 14 for the Singapore Slingers who are up two points, 14 to 12. Here in the first frame, Alexander triggering it in. He goes to Delvin. They swing it to Jaron Young. Young splits the defense, steps back for that jumper. No good. Oh, Fields retrieving it. Again, Fields attacking and scoring. Wow. And John Fields with three buckets here in the first. Go, Sorry Christian. about that, Madden, But, you know, that's one thing that you want to see Ramos uh, do better is to challenge more shots. A lot of times uh, in the first three games at mm -hmm. least, he would just look at him and try to put a hand up. Only... Point thirty-three coming into this game in terms of his blocks. His first block came only in the last game. That's Nothing right. in the first two. And he will be challenged here by a John Fields. Oh, and we have a foul here called against Ang Han Bin. Six foot four local player of the Singapore Slingers. So change in the point guard position for coach Jimmy Alapad. Here's the attack earlier. John Fields not scared at all of P.J. Ramos relentlessly attacking the rim. Avalona Parks, and, yes. So Avalona in the ball game had 11 of the 28 mm. bench points for Alap. His first three, this is it. Oh, Avalona, good spark off the bench for Alab. Last Friday against Formosa. So here comes Singapore. Up by four points, 16 to 12. Jaron Young against Parks. Good match up here. Young attacking Parks. He stops, shoots, could not score. Ramos gets the rebound. Five rebounds now for PJ Ramos. Domingo Good goes pass. to Parks for three. Still off from three point range is Bobby Ray Parks. Alexander puts it on the floor. That's a foul on Havilona. And Havilona will be whistled for his <laughs> first personal foul. It looks like a father and son moment <laughs> between Ramos and Alexander. <laughs> Imagine if it was us. That's right. <laughs> Seven for three, PJ Ramos again, towering over everybody on the floor here. Oh, nice inbound play by Singapore. Young could not convert though. So here is Bobby Ray Parks bringing the ball down. Ray Parks, oh, spring the defense up and in. For the reigning local MVP, Bobby Ray Parks Jr. At his best when he has a head of steam and putting Joe Young in <laughs> skates. First two, highlight. Ang Han Bin could not answer. Ala Pilipinas with momentum on their side. Domingo, Parks for three. Parks drop three. Five straight points for Bobby Ray Parks. And that's the difference after making a layup. You see the ball go in the hoop. Your next shot, the bucket just gets bigger after misses his first two from downtown. And now San Miguel Ala Pilipinas grabs the lead back 17 to 16. John Fields, same move, no good though this time around. Bachman on the move, loses the handle. Young gets it. 
Young on the move, Young all the way, no good. Almost tipped in by Parks, here comes Domingo. Low, on the sidestep, blocked. Difficult attempt there. Back and forth we go, entertaining game here in Caloacan. John Fields. Ramos, one more time for Fields, still off. A Kelvin go right there for the cleanup. His second block for the season and his second one, he didn't even <laughs> jump. That's right. <laughs> Did not need to jump. That was PJ Ramos. A Kelvin working hard to get the lead back for Singapore. Under a minute left, Ramos for three. Ramos drops it in. Seven points for PJ Ramos here in the first. 50%, one for two, makes the second one in the first half. Baseline J is off for Alexander. Balkman, two on two break, Parks fakes, Parks attacked, and he will be fouled on his way to the rim. Hard one given up here by Ang Han Bin. And a bit of color under the basket there. This was the sidestep earlier by Bobby Ray Parks for the finish. And no Domingo finding Parks in transition for the three-pointer for five straight points. For the back-to-back -back local MVP, Bobby Ray Parks, Brandon Rosser introduced to the game for the first time. And Parks will head to the line. And there's a reason why he's a two-time MVP. You just saw it right there after a layup and a basket from the outside utilizes the power of the shot fake. A lot of players, Martin, yeah. would have would have gone for the heat check, mm -hmm. especially on the same spot, but not Bobby Ray. Reading the play well, he saw a man closing out long on him, makes the right decision, gets a pair for his first two in the game. Ray on Parks. the line. That's right. Did not shoot well, though, against the Formosa Dreamers, only five out of 13, but he did get 13 points and so far in three games, Christian has complimented very well with the play of Ronaldo Baltman and PJ Ramos. He will compliment any team, mm. any team in the league because you know one thing that Bobby Ray has learned in the ABL is to sacrifice and adjust because before yeah. coming into this league, mm -hmm. uh, he was the alpha, uh, 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 alpha dog uh, in National University, yeah, the college right. team where he played for and in the commercial teams wherever he played. So it was a big adjustment for him, but still making a name for himself, winning two-time uh, MVP. And time will expire here in the first frame. San Miguel Ala Filipinas off to a great start here. Up by four points, 22 to 18. Some highlights here of the first quarter. John Fields getting a lot of buckets early over PJ Ramos. I think that was one of his three buckets early in the game. Ramos though, converting for seven points in the first quarter. Xavier Alexander tried to keep Singapore in it. Able to score there, Ronaldo Balkman, despite also battling foul trouble. Able to make an impact in this game. That was a three-pointer earlier by the big man, PJ Ramos. Again, San Miguel Ala Filipinas up by four, 22 to 18 to the first. 